our team is usually kept pretty busy uh, year round. Uh, it gets ex extremely busy around biennium end um, because you've got session so we're on top of our normal daily work um, schedules. We also have to go downstairs sometimes to listen to different testimonies. Uh, we also have to uh, prepare fiscal notes if there's any potential uh, implications with session law that may impact the state fiscally. So fiscal management, uh, we are in charge of the PeopleSoft accounting system and that includes 70 agencies statewide. Um, some of our high level priorities are to complete the state's annual comprehensive financial report. Um, so we start working on that project in about July of every year and we finish it up in the middle of December. Um, once the ACFR is complete, we transition over to some of our federal reports. Um, so that is completing the statewide cost allocation plan for all the state agencies and the cash management plan. Well, anything with a very strict deadline, um, such as something that has to happen before month end or it has to do with payroll where we can't change, we can't be flexible with the schedule or by any amount or fiscal year end, those are always done first. I try to use what's called the Eisenhower matrix. In addition to that, so if there's a legal implication that's going to push its way to the top. Collaborating with team members is huge. Fiscal management has the best team members so if things are coming down the pike and all of a sudden it's like okay what am I what what's first or you know trying to prioritize that um, it definitely is order of operations if it's a project timeline or deadline that comes first but um, it might be pinging another co-worker to see if they have the bandwidth. I do my best to prioritize one thing at a time. Um, we get interruptions throughout the day. We might get a phone call. Um, you know, I always try to answer the phone call if I'm available to take that phone call instead of going back and playing phone tag potentially with an agency. But then I, I try to switch gears back to what I was working on, complete that task before I transition into something new. I review those tasks and determine what the consequences would be if I don't finish them right away or or that day or even that week. Since our team is partially remote, we need to have tools that allow collaboration. So Teams has been, it's been invaluable for, our, for us to succeed. Time management, project management, it's in fiscal, I mean, I feel like we all do it differently. It has to be a methodology that works for you. I think it's tailored to the individual. I have a notebook that I keep all of the tasks that I need to be working on in that notebook. And then every day I come in and I, I put on my sticky note those tasks that I've identified need to be accomplished for that day. Last biennium end was a very busy period. It was the very first biennium end I went through because I was new at OMB. We had a spreadsheet where we reviewed the tasks. The spreadsheet included who it was assigned to, the date it was due, a description of the task. We also made sure we had documentation describing that task if it was um, a more complex task. It's okay to say no sometimes. Saying yes all the time, you can easily get overwhelmed and burnt out. Um, so it's okay to say no every once in a while. I've learned over the years that multitasking is not always a good thing. If you're struggling with prioritizing work, ask for help. Your supervisor is there to help with deciding which tasks need to be worked on first. To try and juggle things can be complex, especially if you know it's not precedence that you've had before. Sometimes in the past we've talked about multitasking and that I think turns out not to be such a great thing because if you have 10 different things and you're multitasking, um, it gets to be, a, oh, your hands are in just about everything, but yet it's just taking one thing at a time. That's important too. You know, when I look at assigning tasks to the team, I really look at the skill sets that everybody has because everybody brings something different and unique to the table. Um, and I really want to play to their skill sets. So if I have the chance to give somebody a project that's going to fit their skill sets and interests really well, that's where I'm going to give priority to. I use my Outlook calendar. Um, besides my meetings, I put my tasks on there, especially at the end of the week, I will put, you know, something that I know I didn't get finished and I don't want to forget to do it. I put that on the next week so I don't forget. We have various meetings throughout the, the week and month, uh, different team meetings with different groups of people. It's an open agenda, meaning it's posted out on our, our team uh, OneNote. They're, they're encouraged to go out there and add any agenda items uh, that they want to cover. We have our fiscal connect uh, every other week. We have one-on-ones, uh, my staff and myself, we meet one-on-one. -on -one. Looking at the things that we've been doing for so many years, 
and also collaborating again with our team members and we'll get on calls and we'll just talk about the things that we're doing and what we're looking at. You know, as a team, we all share one common goal and that's to get the ACFR done or to meet our deadlines, whether that is the ACFR, whether that is the SpyCab cash management, assisting agencies. We share the common goal of successfully completing our mission, whatever that is at hand. I took a training and they did a demonstration with a jar and large rocks, smaller rocks, and pebbles. And they showed how if you put all the small pebbles in first and the small rocks, the large rocks won't fit. But then they emptied the jar again and they put some of the large rocks in and then they slowly added some of the pebbles and the smaller rocks and then everything fit in that jar. 